Good morning YouTube friends, I'm Jackie and this is Gone Potty Gardening. It's been a little while since I did a video, but um, there's lots been going on. There's a fly. Ooh. Anyway, there's lots been going on and uh, a little while ago we had to uh, change the car. So we were out car hunting and then when we got that there was a few bits that needed doing to it. So that took up time. And also um, a lady got in contact with me through the channel um, and we viewed a few properties for her and there were some stunning places really um, I mean it's not quite the same is it if you can't see it for yourself but this lady lived abroad in New Zealand and um, so the only way I could do it was was what I thought of it or what me and Helen thought of it and we found this place and well she did as well but it was stunning and uh, little outbuildings like little uh, remind me of Elf and the Shoemaker you know little stone buildings with a little tin roof quite a few of them and uh, 11 acres of land the cottage the cottage is actually under Mount Neffin um, so I think there's a lake underneath so It'd be a gorgeous property, absolutely lovely, and it is quite touristy. Not that particular area, but um, you know, a little bit out is Westport, and you're not far from Castle Bar, which is a main town. So uh, yeah, stunning property. I mean, the properties are so cheap over here. Um, there was another one we looked at that was in Boyle, in Roscommon. Um, when you sort of climbed up that, it come round like a circle like that as if you were climbing up a mountain and when you got to the top it overlooked a lock again that was a tiny house but um i think the last bidding on that was uh i think it was ninety seven thousand euros which is incredible because that had a lot of land i'm not sure if that one had 13 acres but um yeah 13 acres of land again a small property but what a stunning view amazing but the cottage was quite small but <clears throat> she's going to extend on it but I enjoyed that enjoyed the uh, little trips out looking at these little houses I mean I enjoyed it so much so that um, I think I'm gonna start up a little part-time business if you like really um, I've named it Ireland Move and I'm just in the process of uh, sorting out the website but um, just to sort of like view on behalf of people, um, not necessarily the final view, and it'd be probably better if people could do their, you know, narrow the properties down to what they actually love and then come across and do the viewing for themselves. But, you know, to eliminate a few properties, um, there is a need for that because we were the same. If we could have paid somebody a bit to go and look at this property for us, we would have done that. I mean, you do get the, um, you do have the auctioneer tell you bits and show you pictures and you can ask questions, but, you know, there's some things that you just don't get the feel of, you know, the place, the atmosphere, you know, what what is it really like? What does the house feel like? Does it have an atmosphere? You know, houses do, don't they? <clears throat> so uh, that kind of uh, made me think I actually really enjoyed it and... And it would help people as well. I'm not after making lots of money, but obviously I do need to cover petrol and the time that it takes, because it does take quite a bit of time. Um, but yeah, and sort of like live video from the property if I can. And uh, sort of more of a one-to-one -one service for people, which I thought would be quite nice. I can't do full-time because of my health and plus, uh, you know, I do care for Helen. And... Uh, but it'd be an interest, I thought it'd be nice. Recently as well, was um, it's funny that you look forward to different things as you move through the years, don't you? When you were young, you look forward to the local disco or, you know, I know what I mean, I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I'm looking forward to getting me new glasses, that's in your 50s when you look forward to things like that. <laughs> um, a pair that, you know, does it all, like reading in between and distance the amount of time that you think oh god where's my glasses where did i put them or you know i need them to see that and 
I can't wear my radio once to see the computer, so it'll be great. And uh, I'm like a little kid, I can't wait for him to come. Ten days, I said. So five days he's gone, so not long now. Um, I want to talk a bit about the garden this year. Um, some of it was a bit disappointing. Um, the squash and uh, pumpkin bit was good. That's coming along nicely. Um, the raspberry, the raspberry bed where I put all the raspberries in this year. Um, some are okay and some are not, so uh, probably have to replace some of those this coming winter. Um, I know it does take a, a time, doesn't it, for uh, things to get established, and they could well shoot up from the ground the ones that are not showing this year. But um, yeah, I'd like to do that this winter. A good thing that we grew this year that was fantastic and we've used a lot is um, cauliflowers. We've got about six to seven cauliflowers, which I'm really pleased with. Oh, fly. That's the trouble when it's been damp here. Um, yeah, cauliflowers, we use them. We, we uh, baked them in the oven and uh, we've made soup with them. Lovely, really good. And... Uh, these flies, the dogs are going. <laughs> They're so annoying. It's because it's been damp, and now it's all right. Um, now for the things that are not doing so well or haven't done so well. Nobody talks about that, do they? They show you all your videos of all your good vegetables, but um, the runner beans absolutely rubbish this year. I think it's been the weather. Um, I mean, we had about two weeks of like really low cloud and it was really depressing. <laughs> it was like this heavy darkness every day, no light. And uh, so that wouldn't have done the gardens any good. So the runner beans were no good, not really. Um, the onions started off well. Um, I planted them in the autumn and they've turned out, a lot of them bolted. But I've rescued what I could and they're drying in the polytunnel. I mean, they'll be fine. They'd be good to use uh, in cooking. They're quite small onions in cooking, in soups, sandwiches and all stuff like that. Um, these flies, actually, you'll laugh, but it was so bad that I got one of those hats that's got like a net down. And I was out in the garden with that the other day because otherwise they, they, they're like the... Uh, sort of just stay around you and it's just oh it's vile dirty things they are so uh, that that helped there's some lovely um flowers in the garden this year you remember those poppies i planted from seed i showed you in the polytunnel well at first some of them got eaten by the slugs but now they're absolutely gorgeous i'll pop a picture just up here and uh you can see them the potatoes are doing great that was a great, you know, I'm leaving them because they've, they've not died off. They're all flowered. Um, we've had lots of blight warnings. We get them through the uh, uh, weather app. You know, it tells you a warning for blight this weekend or whatever. Um, I have sprayed them a couple of times. Um, the tomatoes have been great this year. Last year I lost them all to blight, which was really disappointing. When you spend all that time, you know sowing them, nurturing them and bringing them on but um, this year they're great, they're in the polytunnel um, yesterday I spent some time thinning out the leaves you know to let a bit of light in and the peppers are doing great in there, I've never grown them before um, they're doing great in the polytunnel but we've actually ordered um, a light that acts as like daylight because uh, it has been very dull the weather and I think it will encourage them you know more with a light so I've got a clip-on light and it's got about four angles off of it with a light that I can direct onto those peppers and it'll probably help the tomatoes as well so I was really pleased with that and uh, what else is there peas they're coming on lovely they're doing really great uh, nearly up to the top of the trellis so that's another thing that's doing well so really the big disappointments for this year were onions and the runner beans are not great. 
and other beans as well because they've just been eaten which is soul destroying really but there you go um, so altogether so far quite good but some disappointments this year um, it's only my second year so you're always learning aren't you I've got a few more little plants to just put out a couple of kale a couple of delphinium um, plants that I grew from seed and I've got also go away I've also got some more lupin uh, plants to put out um, they'll show up better next year but I'm going to put them out while it's mild um, yeah and they look nice Thank mm -hmm. you.